Hey Gemini, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and this just in. This is where we get all up in other folks' business about love and relationships. This reading is good for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you are new, thank you for stopping by and giving this video a chance. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Okay, Gemini. The moon is currently in your sign. But I am feeling like while the moon is currently in your sign, you still may be having some difficulties doing what you do best, which is communicating. And I, I'm not quite sure why that is, but what I do know is uh, whatever it is, it seems like a temporary setback. I feel like, Gemini, if you guys are having some problems communicating in your relationships, it is a temporary setback. Um, I think the moon just moved into your sign today. So if you've been having some issues with communication, maybe the ball will get rolling now that the moon has moved into your sign. You know, and you can, um, you know, kind of, uh, I guess, more easily bring your intellect and your emotion together because you know gemini is about intellect and the moon is about emotion and feeling well, let's just see what we have okay the first card we got is the queen of coins gemini this is taurus virgo or capricorn um she's a nurturer she's she's cute she dresses well her face is beat Makeup's always nice. Hair did. Um, as far as love and relationships goes, she's very desired in the physical sense. When people are looking at her, they are not looking at her like, look at the brain on that one. No. She's good looking. She's very appealing and, you know, enticing from a physical standpoint because the coins are physical things. Everything 3D. This is an earth energy. And it doesn't have to be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's just going to be somebody with very earthy energy. You know, I think that, you know, when I see the Queen of Coins, I think of somebody who uh, works hard every day to take care of business to take her home especially you know she's a nurturer like i said it reminds me a whole lot of the empress i think the empress is a higher octave of the queen of coins you know when she when she works she works to get what she wants you know and a lot of that is the physical stuff so you know maybe this is somebody who works really hard to get the nicest things to look the best so that they can attract somebody in uh, this could be you gemini this could be somebody that you are dealing with the, the, okay so the next card is the eight of coins here we are so earth energy somebody's watching somebody is watching the queen baby and they are watching like a hawk that's what their eyes on right now look at this <laughs> i love it Ooh. Okay, Gemini, you all just got me hyped. You see how he's studying that coin? I feel like that coin that he is studying is the queen of coins. Some, but she's looking away, so I don't know if she knows. I don't know if she's aware. Hmm. And I think that whomever this is that is doing the observing, it's, it's not necessarily, it's, it's not, I don't think they're in the observation phase because they're necessarily afraid to make a move. I just think that this person want to make sure that their uh, I's are dotted and their T's are crossed because... <laughs> I feel like whoever this is is trying to get their game up because they know when they come to the Queen of Coins, they cannot have step. They got to get their game up. And maybe this is the reason why, because I talked about some communications that, you know, may not have been 
you know, going quite well. And maybe it's because somebody was just in the observation stage. They were studying very hard. They don't really want to say anything um, until they know exactly what it is that they need to say and or do. Maybe that's why the communications were held back. And like this is a Sun and Virgo card. Uh, both Virgo and Gemini are ruled by Mercury. Mercury just moved into Sagittarius today. Mercury is at zero degrees of Sagittarius. So Mercury just came out of Scorpio, right? So we talked about observing, studying. What does Scorpio do best? It studies things. It observes them. It watches obsessively and I just said somebody's got their eye on the queen of coins so maybe this eight of coins person who could very well you know be a Virgo or heavy earth energy that is watching this other earthy energy or you know like I said it doesn't have to be an earth sign but you know just somebody who's very physically appealing um, while Mercury was in Scorpio and we got all of this other stuff, we got Sun in Scorpio, we've got uh, Venus moving into Scorpio here in a couple of days, um, and Jupiter in Scorpio, right? So we got all of this energy in Scorpio. It's not about small talk. So if somebody was watching, they wasn't about the bullshit anyway. They didn't. They don't like I said. They didn't want to talk until they know they had their game up. Mercury was just in Scorpio, and Mercury is not about small talk. I just told my daughter that she's about. Okay, I'm going to tell her business. <laughs> But I just told her she is dealing with some Scorpio situations. And I was like, well, you can miss that Scorpio with the small talk because they don't want to hear it. And so I think that, you know, if this eight of, of, uh, of coins has been observing the queen of coins, while Mercury is in Scorpio, he or she didn't have shit to say anyway. Like I said, they didn't want to come until they knew the game was tight. Whether this is you or somebody that you could be dealing with. It just seems like the queen of wand, I mean, the queen of coins is oblivious. If she's not, she might be playing hard to get because she knows she she knows that she's fired. So she, and it, it, uh, it all, it looks a little bit like she's playing games, which is fine because he's still watching. And, I, you know, at this point, the more games that she plays, the more he obsesses. I see what the last card is. All of this, you, good God Almighty. Gemini, I've never seen so much earth associated with you in my life. The last card is the four of coins. Somebody's trying to lock it down. This is a sun and Capricorn card. So everything we have on the table is earth. We just had a full moon in Taurus, right? Taurus is an earth sign. We just had a full moon, which talks about what is mine. And I feel like somebody is trying, somebody's watching. Somebody's watching the queen of coins, observing, trying to get their game up, making sure they come correct so that they can lock it down. They want to put it right there in that little lock box. Four little cute coins. They are trying to build and set or set and build a foundation. Somebody's not playing games. Whoever the Eight of Coins is that is watching the Queen of Coins, he is not playing games. He is trying to lock it in. Put it in his little chest because it looks real cute, you know what I'm saying? And have it there for safekeeping. So, like I said, whether this is you that's watching somebody or whether this is somebody that's watching you, Gemini, this is all Earth. Somebody's trying to make it really real. There's not... It's all Earth. This is about making the intangible tangible. This is about manifestation. Yes, indeed. Well, that's the way that I, that's the way that I see it. You know, you can't squeeze you can't squeeze blood from a turnip. That's the way I see it, Gemini. So, you know, somebody's definitely trying to seal the deal, at least in a physical manner. So, thank you. I may have 
forgotten to say it in the last couple videos, but if anybody would like to get a personal reading with me, you can do so by contacting me at Tina at 85thHouseVibrations.net. Um, Gemini, could you please go tell Aries and Taurus because I think I forgot to tell them. Thanks, and I hope to talk to you again next month.